this slice of entertainment is revered as a landmark in modern history. Steven Spielberg's Jaws. Jaws carries an interesting history. The first being the hardest of Spielberg's early career and tapped into people's primal fears about what lurks beneath the ocean surface. The original becoming the first summer blockbuster and at the time the highest grossing movie ever. which, deservedly so, is so bad, it's good. definitely the lowest point of this franchise. The casting is bang on. Robert Shaw, a legend at this point, from strong James Bond villain to playing Henry VIII. An absolute sweetheart when sober, but a devil when he's had his daily dose. When people of my generation think of Hellraisers, Oliver Reed is usually the top of that list but he's part of a fraternity of legends which include Shaw, Richard Burton, Richard Harris and Peter O'Toole. Roy Scheider, a seasoned veteran who had secured an Academy Award nomination for playing Sonny Grosso in William Friedkin's The French Connection in 1971. And Richard Dreyfus, a young up-and-comer who had just worked with George Lucas on American Graffiti and in 1978 won his own Oscar. The same year, his co-star Robert Shaw sadly died of a heart attack. It's amazing how much stripping of Peter Benchley's novel Spielberg did. There's so much material in the book. Alex Kittner isn't the only human in that scene to die. Larry Vaughan's motives for one of those summer dollars are clearer. Being as he owns a real estate business and many of the homes he sold are owned by the Mafia, so he is obligated to them. The Brodies are having marital problems. Ellen used to date Hooper's brother, so when Hooper comes to the island she starts an affair. Both Hooper and Brody are apparently not very likeable between the pages. All this stripped away to leave an A to Z adventure tale, ably written by Benchley and Carl Gottlieb. From all this we are left with a phenomenal piece of history that has thrilled and terrified generations and will continue to do so. If you ever get a chance to see this on the big screen, do it. It's an epic experience.